okay, it's been a while, but I didn't give up on anything. I've just been really busy. You know, uh, just roll the intro. Ah, oh, fuck, there goes the old intro. Anyway, where did we leave off again? Oh yeah, Guilty Gear Strive. This drive is pretty cool. I've been having a real blast playing it, so let's talk about Fightcade. In my last video I used Fightcade to play games I may not have tried or played otherwise. In this video I want to go deeper into what Fightcade is, the things it does really well, and what modern fighting game developers or even general game devs can learn from it. I'll be ending with a look at the one thing it in my opinion sorely lacks. Get up to rock! Get up to burn! Stand with the pride and burn for your desire! Fightcade, or more specifically its newest iteration, Fightcade 2, is an emulator front-end that allows you to play all your favourite arcade games, both by yourself, with people, and of course against people. Okay, uh, yeah, I can see you in the back there, Kevin. Do you have a question? Well, yes. How do you do all this cool stuff? Well, Kevin, that's really simple. You just download Fight K2 of the website, install the program, haul the arcade cabinet up from your basement, open it up and take out the main board, take the ROM chips off that board, put those chips into a USB universal programmer like this one, connect that to your computer, run a program that dumps the contents of this ROM chip, and then repeat the process for all of the chips. After this, you perform a satanic ritual involving black magic, a lot of alcohol and your mom, and pop! The playable ROM just magically appears on your computer, waiting to be played. What? Is that not how you guys do it? Well, anyway, once all set up, you can choose to play or test the game by yourself, or play against people all over the world. Alright, onto the things Fight Gate does really well. Fightcade runs on a type of black magic that allows a simple form of rollback to be used across all of its games. Yes, Kevin, even the games which developers keep on telling you can't have rollback. It is a blessed miracle. And to keep this miracle up and running, each Fightgate user uses another of its great features to honour the wizards who made the program. So before getting into a match, each user uses the built-in chat function to engage his own joyful banter. Using every slur known to man, these players engage in what we Fightcade users like to call foreplay. During foreplay, you entice other online players to play against you by insulting their playstyle, character and of course their family members. When they finally cave into your mental abuse and accept your challenge, you swiftly beat them using Akuma and Super Turbo and move on with your life. Inevitably, They'll talk shit about you playing Akuma, because he's cheap and broken. And of course you respond by saying that their mom was cheap and broken after you left last night. But not before accidentally saying you can beat them with any character in the game. Well whoops, you're absolute ass at the fighting game. So what do you do? This is where we get into another one of Fightgate's greatest features. Most fighting game developers back in the day were part game developer and part asshole making incredibly complex games with complex movements and strategies and not telling the player a single one of them just to fuck with you. Luckily, your boy Fightcade has got you covered. Positioned just above all the abuse, toxicity and human excrement that is the chat room is a list of useful links. These links can be to wikis for frame data, combos and move guides, but also links to various Discord groups relevant to the game you're playing. Okay, in all seriousness, Fightcade is pretty amazing. Having a platform that allows you to play classics that people absolutely love with rollback, that on its own is a huge deal. Throw in the fact that Fightcade tries to combine the gaming part with the community part of the FGC, with its easy to use matchmaking system, chat functions and its actually really helpful links is just godlike. I wish that modern day devs took a look at what Fightcade is offering and learned about the importance of community. I mean. Fightcade definitely isn't perfect in that regard, but at least it's trying. Now onto the one thing it lacks. I may have joked around a bit in the beginning, but 99.99999% of all players are playing ROMs they have not obtained in any legal way. 
I'm not trying to say that these people who play Fightgate are all game-stealing pirate bitches either. Many of the people I've talked to or played with are super fans of these games. They have bought every official release, re-release and collection that has come out of their game. But yet, they still feel forced to play the games here because all official avenues of playing suck ass. However, when a company gives a shit and releases a competent version of their older games, like what happened with Guilty Gear Plus R, loads of them will happily switch to the official release. I hope that in the future, game devs like Capcom and SNK could work together with the absolute legends behind Fightcade and of course the larger fighting game community to offer their older libraries to players in legitimate ways. But until then, I guess the best way to experience the classic arcade feeling is to tilt people by using throws until they rage quit and then threaten to make sweet love to your entire family's behind. If this video didn't make you want to rage quit, consider making sweet love to the like and subscribe buttons down below. And if for whatever reason you still haven't had enough of my voice, hang around a little longer, because I gotta get some shit off my chest real quick. Alright, so I haven't uploaded in like three months. And I wasn't lying about being busy. Oh, but that isn't the whole reason this video took so long. After the uh, last video I did, I kind of lost where I wanted to go with this channel. All the ideas I came up with had already been done by bigger and better YouTubers, and I didn't feel like going up against that. So I quit. Then, after a while, I started writing out some new ideas for videos that had less or even nothing to do with the FTC. And even recorded and edited some of them. But I've not released them yet. I didn't decide to because I feared changing things up would make me lose the viewers I had gained. Then some people on Discord and some comments on YouTube asking where I had been and wanting more kind of pulled me back in. So first of all, thank you. Thank you all for watching, liking and making me reach over 300 subscribers. It may not seem like a lot to most people, but I'm really happy and positively stoked. Second of all, in this intermittent time between uploads, I discovered that I just really like making videos, period. Not specifically about fighting games, but just about anything gaming and non-gaming related that interests me. So if you plan to hang around my channel, it won't just be fighting game content anymore. Anyway, thank you all for watching and letting me take some time out of your day. If you want to yell at me for my weird opinions or tell me that my video was shit, consider tweeting at me or joining my new Discord. And as always, see you in the next video, guys.